Hey guys, you're tuning into Shop Time with Team Rebel Bikes. I'm Sander Sindel, and I'm here in my gazebo uh, putting together the case halves, uh, the, rebuilding the engine for a 66cc China doll. And I split the motor um, because uh, a couple reasons I needed to port match the case halves. So stock, the case halves have uh, more material more material right here uh, that blocks the transfer port. So you'll see I got two studs on the top it's threaded into the case half and then I slide the cylinder right on top and normally stock the material on the case half will block the entrance to the transfer port right in here. So I get in there with a Dremel and I grind all of that off so that there's a nice smooth transition into the cylinder. And then while I'm in there, I drill a hole on the top of the crank bearing journal uh, for an oil, oil feed hole so that the oil, uh, the bearings get plenty of lubrication. You can kind of see how that looks and how it, you, you can see how it looks after I put the bearing in. So now oil will feed, dropping, dripping down from the transfers through the hole and then feeding the bearing right here. When I uh, do this, I use SKF uh, 6202C3 bearings, 6202 2RS, C3, uh, C3 is the speed rating. Um, they can come with a shield on one side or a shield on both sides. I just get them with a shield on both sides and pop one off. Or uh, for these bearings, I pop the shield off both sides. Um, I am using these case halves because the crank bearing journal, this material right around here, is thicker than my old motor. So here's my old motor. And there's the new motor and you can see that one is thicker than the other which will increase your primary compression and that's good for uh, low mid power um, so, and then the other reason I was doing this was because I needed to break down my motor and um, replace the bearings anyways because I was I was getting some problems on the top end um, with my crank balance and whatnot. Uh, speaking of crank and balancing, I will be putting a balanced crank in here. You can see the pin was welded. Um, so the crank was trued. Can't really truly balance a single cylinder engine, but you can true the crank as best as possible. And then weld the pin in place because at high RPM, the pin can move. Um, yeah, so I am using a ZAE50. Uh, and uh, the crank I got from Barber Racing, which is kind of out of the game right now, so good luck finding a balanced crank, you guys. But you, I know you can find one from Fred Chelminski, from uh, the same guy that makes the Fred heads at crmachine.com. That's crmachine.com. Get your balance crank, and this is a really, really uh, great improvement to do because not only do you get the performance enhancements of porting your case, um, but you're also installing every component of the motor yourself. And when I tell you that these these uh, many the people on the assembly line in China. They don't care about your motor the way you care about your motor. So when you install these parts, you make sure to do everything right, which is not exactly what happens in China. They kind of just mass produce these and knock as many out per hour as possible. So um, what you'll want to do after you break these down, you put your studs in, slide your cylinder over, make sure, uh, kind of measure. Uh, how much material on the case half that you need to take off. I do that by putting 
the base gasket over the cylinder over the bottom of the cylinder and then I cut the base gasket to match the bottom of the cylinder then I'll slide the base gasket on top of the case half with the uh, studs installed and then I'll trace the the inside line of the transfer port on the base gasket with a permanent marker or something and then that's my guide I just remove the material where the uh, marker is and that way you get it pretty close if you see real close in here I kind of took off too much material on the case on the right side but that's okay it's still night and day difference so much better than stock and the, um, the bearings are high performance bearings that's gonna make a big difference uh, the porting will make a big difference um, uh, so those are like the two main improvements here besides the uh, balanced crank and the cylinder I am using is sleeved the sleeve cylinder here it is a stock bore 66 cc it uses the 47 millimeter piston um, nice big exhaust port there you can see the sleeve here transfer ports are nice and yeah an excellent jug jug also made by um, Barba Racing uh, let's see so what I'm gonna do now is uh, well what I already did was put in the case seals in here and I did that with a little permatex this is what I use gasket maker uh, you could also use it on the case halves instead of using a dry gasket for the to seal the case halves you could use the permatex which I've done before um, depending if you if you close up the case halves with the crank inside and there's a lot of play uh, lateral play side to side play of the crankshaft in the case halves then you can go ahead and eliminate the base the the case gasket and use um, gasket maker and that'll actually reduce your tolerance a little bit and tighten up the lateral play on the crank um, yeah okay so what I did was I used the gasket maker around the edge of the seal and pressed it in real clean wiped it down uh, so the gasket maker kind of glues it in there thanks to Sean Davis at Apollo Moto for giving me a bunch of tips through the engine building process uh, when you press the seal in you do that before the bearing you do that first um, and you, you you don't press it beyond beyond the inside uh, lip um, so you use that face kind of the inside face as your guide as to how far you can press in the seal so once the seals are set and dry you can press in your new bearings and I just took out my new bearing out of the freezer really cold the bearing was sitting in there overnight and I got my propane torch and as you probably know metals contract when they're cold and they expand when they're hot so try and do this one-handed and I'm gonna heat up the crank case bearing journal crank bearing journal Whoop. so it's about two between 250 right around 250 and I should have put my glove on already but that's okay this might take a little while with propane and uh, don't recommend using map gas because it might melt the aluminum as long as I don't put the direct flame right on top of the seal it'll be fine seals are meant to operate at any standard operating engine temperatures which are between 300 and 400 degrees So I already did this on the other one. 
And what's nice about this is you don't have to hammer the crank bearing in with a hammer. You know, you never want to do that. You never want to beat on the bearing in any way. So this way, the bearing just drops right in, really making a really satisfying noise, a clink when it hits the uh, inner face. And so this is the proper way to install a crank bearing. So here, I've got a thermometer gun, and it's pretty much there. So. I'm just gonna hold it there a little longer. And let's see if I can put my glove on. Safety first. All right. Grab my bearing and I'm just gonna drop it in right here. Oh, I didn't even have to press it. Look, it just fell right in. So now, as the hot case uh, increases the temperature of the crank bearing, um, it, the bearing expands and it expands right into the journal there and it's a perfect fit every time so a couple hours in the freezer and blowtorch on the case halves and you're good to go so now all I have to do is grab my aftermarket crank and it'll drop right in when I'm ready might as well show you guys a little bit here. Oh boy. I'm gonna drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Yeah. Anyways. Um, hope that helps. Uh, I know when I was doing this, I looked for a bunch of videos, and you can find an excellent video for how to break down the case halves and uh, reassemble them made by Fred at crmachine.com and you can just google Fred um, engine breakdown or China girl breakdown or something like that but uh, here you go I'll be putting everything else back together um, yeah I just kind of took over the gazebo and my girlfriend wants to use it for hookah so <laughs> I gotta wrap up this project. Uh, for any other questions, you go ahead and comment. I'll, I'll answer your questions as soon as I can. You can also follow us at Team Rebel Bikes on Facebook. Uh, join our group, um, share your bikes and share your builds and ask questions. Uh, Team Rebel Bikes, we do show up to the SoCal races um, for the last two, two plus years. And we've got a bunch of trophies, and if you are interested in racing, um, I urge you to participate. It's one of the most fun things uh, to do. And if, if you haven't got a race in your area, then start one. So right on, man. Uh, guys, have a good time, and I will be updating with um, more content when I finish this project later.